Hey there friends, my name is Hyla. Today we're gonna make spring rolls on Hyla cooking. Um, not the fried ones, but the fresh, soft, delicious ones that are filled with crunchy vegetables and they're delicious and healthy and great and um, wonderful on a hot day. So uh, let's do this thing. So here's what uh, we need to get ready. I've got some um, bean thread vermicelli that I've already cooked. Looks like this before it's cooked and you have to take off the plastic, <laughs> wink wink. And I boiled it for like three minutes, put some oil on it, drained it, rinsed it with cold water, cut it up with scissors. Done. Um, some cilantro, some cucumber, some lettuce and some carrots. You can put shrimp in it if you want to or whatever, but I'm not. And then I got some rice paper wraps that will get wet and roll up some stuff. So first thing is to cut up my vegetables into the appropriate sizes and shapes. So you notice that when I cut up my vegetables, I peeled everything that has a peel, which is not something I normally do, but it's nice for this, and um, cut around the seeds on the cucumber. And I have a glass pie pan here with some warm water that I just stuck in the microwave. Um, I like to use glass because then when the water cools off, I can reheat it real easily. Um, so I just put my wrapper in there, kind of swirl it around until it gets soft. It feels really nice. It's very warm, relaxing on the hands. Okay, we're almost there. Okay. Now, sorry, I keep clearing my throat. Okay, so I put it down with the rough side up and I get a couple cilantro leaves. You wanna put your pretty stuff down first because when you roll it up, that's what's gonna be on the outside. So a couple cilantro leaves, some cucumber and carrots, some lettuce, and then a little amount of the noodles and then you just roll it up like a burrito kind of stretch it a little bit bottom and then one side and then the other and then roll it up there we have it I'm gonna go ahead and eat this one now with some cock sauce and some of my secret special dipping sauce that the recipe is on the website, so you can look at that at highlightcooking.com. Mmm. Look, it looks really pretty because it's all colorful and it has my spit on it. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go make some more of these. And I'll see you later. Check out HyloCooking.com for the recipe and the secret special dipping sauce recipe. And um, sayonara. That's not, sorry, that was Japanese. <laughs>